You know, we divide things like candies and pizzas among our friends or siblings so that everyone gets an equal share, right? Now the question is, are we able to divide objects or numbers completely every time? You already have refreshment boxes for four athletes and now you are given 16 oranges. You have to pack them into boxes such that each box has five oranges. So how many boxes of oranges can you make now? Don't worry, we already know how to find it, right? So let's do it. You pack five oranges in the first box. So how many oranges are remaining? Yes, you guessed it right. It will be 16 minus 5 equal to 11 oranges. Using these 11 oranges, you form the second box. So now we have 11 minus 5, that is 6 oranges with us. We take 5 more oranges and form the third box. Now, you are left with only one orange. This time, it's neither zero nor sufficient to pack another box. Because to pack another box, you need five oranges, that is four more. So this one orange here is left over. You know, there is a special name for this leftover number. It's called the remainder. Just think what all remainders we could have got. Yes, zero is the most popular as it shows the number is divided completely. Here it happened to be one. But it could have been two, three or even four. As we cannot pack boxes with one, two, three or four oranges. So, all of these would have come under the category of remainder. Simply, in division, zero remainder means completely divided. Whereas, non-zero remainder means not completely divided. But, in any case, the remainder will always be zero or a number smaller than the packet size or the number by which you are dividing the bigger number. But, what will you do with the leftover one orange? Whoa! <laughs> Maybe you can have it! <laughs> If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.